is I get this first bit of rough lag, it sucks, but, um, but it goes away after a while, um, anyways, uh, before I went to work today, I did a few little things, as you can tell, I got some chests here, um, that up, got a campfire, and I played around with the taming thing, um, I do now have the taming effectives three times higher than normal. Um, I also have the crosshair. Crosshairs? Maybe? Yeah. So I got the crosshairs, and so I got the harvest up, taming, and all that. So, yeah, and I decided to play, wanted to see how this taming worked, and it's just pretty much like normal, you just run up. Luckily, these things don't run away from you. Like, uh, say, the monkeys or anything like that, it's kind of like the Listrum that they added just recently. You just go up, stand there, tame. Oh, it works out really well. And since parasaurs don't run either, of course I gotta get a saddle on that thing. Um, let's see. I'm level 10 now, I did gain at least two levels. I think I've used up all my engrams, yeah. Um, can I get a saddle? Parasaur saddle, yep. Nine points. The bola is something we're definitely going to need to get. Um, it will make taming flyers that much easier. Alright, um, let's see what do I got. We don't need that at the moment. Lots of thatch. Um, there is that, but unfortunately, there's a Carno there. I do not want to mess with the Carno. I'm not in any condition to mess with said Carno. It's night out. Lovely. But yeah, so I messed around with a bit of the taming. And I gotta say, I do like it. it makes things a whole lot easier, at least in the lower levels. Um, but yeah, I need to gather things up. Cold. I got a torch out. I guess it's okay. The weather here is very weird. A lot weirder than what it is at the uh, on the island. The default landmass for Ark. I've also explored a little bit of the water. I'm just kind of curious on what kind of uh, aquatic life I can pretty much encounter. So far, a lot of megalodons. Also, there I did find. Must show all you gals and goos. 
cool dino I discovered. Well, not the Carno. The Carno's kind of, uh, thing's gonna eat me, I know it. But the dino I'm mentioning is way over there, assuming it's still there. Hopefully it is, that way I can show you. Colorization on it is really cool on it. Kind of hoping once I get up to the bows and trank arrows and things like that, I can knock that puppy down. Okay, Cardinal's going after something else. Tame up a few. Oh, that parasaur is coming this way. I gotta admit, from a few of the dinos I've seen, I like the colorization on a lot of these. Like this one, even though it's only a level seven, I mean, I like the color. That's kind of cool. Fortunately, I'm not level twenty. coming after us. Dodos. Carno is going after some dodos. Alright. Now assuming the there it is, it's, okay, a bit closer, now I do believe it is a, well, I don't know if you can see it all that well from here, I know I don't have a spyglass yet, I can figure out what crystals are. base so I don't really want to die and have to try and run all the way back. There it is. It's a Dodo Rex. And it's got kind of a black, white, and neon blue kind of glow there. It's not attacking the Parasaur. I really don't want to get too close to it. Here doesn't seem to. Uh, okay, I'm gonna do something stupid. That way I can see. Look at that. Doesn't really seem to care that I'm here. I mean, like, usually if it was a Carno that, or any other. Like I said, I, I'm completely new to all this stuff, and of course, uh, you might be hearing some dogs in the background. They're, um, wrestling. Um, but, yeah, that was kind of weird. I, uh, didn't attack me, so, but it didn't give me any level or anything that was like a tame meter. just odd. Um, the day and night cycle on my server is pretty much the same. Uh, I wasn't really going to mess with that too much. Um, mostly because I don't want to do... I want to make this um, a standard gameplay, I guess is what you would uh, 
classify it, I guess? Um, basically, I'm not gonna do any cheats. I'm not gonna go around spawning things in. Is that you guys making that weird noise? Um, I'm not gonna spawn things in. I'm not gonna do force tame commands and things like that. It's gonna be me against the game. So if I die, I die. If I can't get to the point where I can get the good stuff, then I just can't get the good stuff. I'm not gonna... Um, I can do mine white tonics once I get to that point. And... Hello? Level 32? But, yeah. So, you just go up, hit the E key, just basically like any other passive tame. And, of course, it, luckily, these things don't take very long. I mean, they get hungry quick. So, like, see? And this guy is not going to take all that long to tame up. And I will have an elite dodo army. Quite literally in this, well, right now it's more of a an elite dodo unit. So we got two dodos. I think one's female. I think. Ooh, ooh snap! Ooh, 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 ooh. Head. Head. Head, 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 head. It seems like all the dinos actually now drop when you kill them, they actually have all inventories. Which is kind of, I mean, I can understand that like carnivores, since, you know, they'll kill players and whatnot, they'd have an inventory. But, herbivores? I'm surprised it's not going after the elite dodo. Go to the elite dodo. Elite dodo? Hmm. Um,. Away. Get away from the water. <sighs> Damn you. Leave. Not this way. Lesson? There are baby dinos in the game? Huh. That's kind of cool. I did not know that. I was wondering why you for a trike it was pretty dang small. Good. It's getting away from the beach. This thing away from my body. And then 
die and then respawn, it might work. Into the deep abyss here. Which is really, really stupid. Here, Megalodons, I got a treat for you. Original body. So much for what I said the last episode. Oh, there's no carnivores over here. I'll have it easy. Nah. Okay, well, that was, um, fun. Where's my elite dodo? Is it taming reset? Taming has... Yes. Dang it. Oh well. Well, back at it. But, yeah. Like I said, it goes by pretty quick. Now that the carno is like way over there. I can actually do this in peace. And what the heck is... It's another car now. Dang it. Y'all stay away. Feed the dodo. Be one with the dodo. See, check on my guys, anyways, and see if they gain some levels. Feed them. Feed the dodo. But yeah, and there's actually baby dinos in the game. That's actually kind of cool. I mean, I know you could do breeding and whatnot, but you never really saw um, baby dinos in the wild unless you counted the. Um, Karakook. It's the penguins. They actually had baby ones, but you never really saw it with any of the other dinos. Yeah. Taking it this way is actually a lot easier than wasting time with, like, a slingshot. Um... something else about these elite dodos that's kind of cool that especially for early on in this um, current mod of the Anaki Genesis I do believe is the mod that all this is under but um, once I get this 32 tamed up. See, like, it doesn't really take too long. Right now, this guy is, what, level 32? Uh, and it's taking roughly maybe, well, if you're not counting the, um, Carno, speaking of which, we aren't getting closer to him, are we? Her? It? Whatever? Um, Net counting, it's only taking about 
just with the made medjo berries. Five minutes? Five? Yeah, about five minutes. Roughly. I mean, it doesn't really take too long. So, yay for higher tank. Sweet. Oh, another thing is I did give myself a tribe name, Dragon's Maw. Um, basically, it's something from, for those new to my channel, it's uh, from season one that I did. Um, which is actually on a different channel. It's on uh, Dragon's Cove, my other channel. Let's see, what am I going to... Alpha Beak. Alright. Cool thing about these guys... You don't need a saddle. They're big enough where you can ride. Unfortunately, they're not like a terror bird where you can just jump, hold down, and they glide down. But, eh. But they're good early mounts. They're easy to get. You don't need a saddle. Um, and let's see. HPs. I like to boost HP. I hear thud, thud, thud. Did you hear thud, thud, thud? Was it you, adolescent? I'm just kind of all kinds of jumpy. Um. Some bit of exploring, really. Because I really don't know, like I said, I really don't know a whole lot about this uh, new map or about a lot. Or, and two, I really want to find where a small dragon, a small dragon my ultimate game um or well, challenge I guess to try and get as many rows tamed up as possible since you know it's kind of my uh mascot for the channel so I so pretty much I have to get one I get more than one mind you but I definitely have to get one um and if I can get a good leveled one um, I'm going to, of course, name it after, uh, Midgar Soma, uh, if, for those who played Final Fantasy XIV Online will know the name, um, I'm a big player of Final Fantasy XIV, so, yeah, which I need to get back into. I was doing, I've seen screenshots, and there's supposed, I guess there's some old ruins and whatnot on this map. I'm not really sure where exactly. I think there's caves? So... I'm not really sure. And this is mostly just the beachfront. Baby turtle. Hey there, little guy or girl. How you doing? Oh, it's kind of cool. <clears throat> I 
concept is really, really cool. A wild baby. Let's see, we're gonna need to get one of these guys, but right now, even if we shot them, they'd fly off. But luckily, the game has implemented the bolas, um, which you can use uh, to swing and. and basically not bring it down without, you know, a whole lot of huss and fuss. And I guess for a short while it will be detained, and in that time you can uh, knock it out. Another beach fight. This mostly because it's like a really small mod, it's nothing you know big and fancy. Is the bridge mod so I can actually do bridges or uh, construct bridges, I should say. Hmm. And look at that, so much to actually see and explore. I mean. The original island, I pretty much knew where everything was, or is, I should say, not was. Of course, they did change the uh, landscape quite a bit when they put in the swamp biome and the winter biome, so things kind of changed a little, but, you know, I pretty much knew where things was, how to navigate. Right now, I don't know diddly spot. or something like that. Or maybe they just did it for the dodo for since the dodo doesn't get much love. Well that was until the dodo wrecks and the zombie dodo invasion. Hmm. This is mostly herbivores. Or for the fact a lot of the dinos really haven't uh, spawned in yet. It could very well be. Um, ooh, RG. Carno. And Scorpion. Yeah, we're running. Goodbye. Saber. Yep, we're out of here. Catch up to us, no problem. Scorpion. Cool looking Brontos. I wonder, could I passive tame these? Again, that kind of makes sense. I mean, how the hell are you gonna feed that thing? Ooh, I like this one. Look at that. Level up, buddy. Level three. You know, very high. 
high level. They have some pretty cool colors, though. A baby doe dick. Look at that. Holy crap. Ooh, you can pass the damn this at level 30. Ooh. That is cool. Those things are always a pain to trank. The fact that I can passive tame them? Awesome. Especially since they're not hostile. This is so cool. Better since I got a mountain. It's daytime and I can see! Doing this at night, I'd be scared crudless. There's a galley. I don't see too many other dinos. I mean, I guess I'd go to the hill and make see some T Rex or something, but lately it's just been. Oh, there's a Carno and Trike going at it. This is the part where you go, damn, nature, you scare. There's another little thing, uh, room part. Hmm. That is interesting. Well, that confirms the runes, anyways. Uh, small parts of it. I haven't really seen the meat of the runes, I guess. Sabertooth salmon are in the game, and the center, ooh, ankylos. And what the bloody... Is that a super ant? Why the heck is there a super ant in the game? Thing. Holy bananas! An elite Titan Manurna? There's a pink carno. I guess it's trying to express. You know, it really be hilarious if that was actually a female too. You guys see that? That is a baby Bronto. Okay, gotta go in. Gotta go in. Gotta look. See. See the baby bronto. Look at it. Well, it's probably an adolescent, actually. No, it's jovial. Whoa. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. What the heck? Everybody's seeing that, right? The cheetah effect around a dodicarus? Um, they are super color monkeys. Why is there super color monkeys? Look at the size of this thing! Holy bananas! Kill me in one hit, probably! Cool looking stego. 
got anything? Poison arrow. Okay, that's a new one. Not really sure what the Anaki poison arrow is for. Okay. What the heck's with the monkeys? Oh! 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 By help a beak. Oh, this is bad. Oh, oh, oh. that's bad. Oh, okay. Um. T-Rex. Holy. There's two of them. There's like a super... Oh. oh, I'm so dead. Oh! Oh! Yeah. Okay. Um... Lesson learned today. Nature's scary. Primeval forest. Even scarier. Mm. Okay. Um. Well, that was an adventure, to say the least. Um. Fortitude. Uh, more weight, but we'll put another point in speed, and, um, let's see. Let's see what we got. Need that. Need that. Oh! Two little guy. Anyways, we have um, discovered the island is scary. Um, we also learned that there are baby. Oh, there are actually baby dinos in the game. There's also apparently not only elite dodos, but elite titan manunas. And then there's. Helmet-infused dinosaurs. Um, roaming the lands. Lovely. We also learn that um, I am meat for just about anything and everything at my current level. So. Um, I learned quite a bit, and the drops from dinos aren't half bad either. 
Um, but anyways, gals and ghouls, hopefully you all enjoyed this episode. Um, I know I'm having fun because this is like all new and this is fun. Um, a little scary, but uh, fun, especially considering running into one problem after another. Uh, so, um, unfortunately, let us take a moment to remember Alpha Beak, our brave Dodo, who was one-shotted by a Alpha Dodicris. That is a frightening thing. An Alpha Dodicris. <sighs> um... Anyways, gals and ghouls, that's it for me, Inelfin here at Project Edge 2D, and I will see you all in the next video. Ciao for now.